Well, I just wanted to report on the campground experience here at Pipeline Campground. This is a free campground. You know, I showed that the campsites are in pretty close quarters. There's a big group right behind me, people right across the way, and you know, everyone was super quiet and respectful. No loud music or anything after hours. No loud music at all the whole day and night. So very, very impressed with that. I was kind of anticipating people getting a little bit rowdy, but super quiet and peaceful, so grateful for that. Check this out, just getting my coffee going here. Beautiful view out the window. You can hear the sound of that river, just so awesome. Digging it. Okay, this is what it looks like when I start running out of food. I definitely need to go grocery shopping. Uh, for breakfast, all I have is corn tortillas and some cheese, so I'm just gonna make like a little mini cheese quesadilla. Probably have two or three of those. Got a few corn tortillas here. And we'll have to go find a grocery store. Well, I just remembered I had some leftover refried beans in the fridge, so I went ahead and spread a thin layer of refried beans on there as well. Go with the cheese. And spread it thin enough that the beans should heat up right inside there. And we'll let that melt. Yummy. Okay, so here's one of the ones with the beans and cheese in it. Got the tortilla nice and crispy. Let's give it a try. Ooh, that's good. Much better with the beans. Not doing hot sauce this morning. Right, just really good as is. Okay, let's roll out of here. It's supposed to be about 94 degrees today. Already warming up. It's only, geez, what time is it? About 9.30 a.m. These folks were super friendly. Would definitely revisit this place. I would not go out of my way to come here because you definitely run the chance of there not being any available spots as there's only a few. But it worked out well for me. I think I lucked out so far. I've been, I mean, these. These local Idaho folks have been very kind and friendly, respectful, digging it. So I've got about 70 miles to my next camp. It's going to be on the Snake River again. But I'm going to stop about 50 miles out of here. There's a town called uh, Burley, Idaho. Seems like a decent sized town. I'm going to stop there, get some groceries, fill up my drinking water jug. This warmer days, I've been going through water pretty quick. Typically use at least a gallon a day, probably a little over a gallon a day. That's between drinking and the little I use for cooking. Away we go. the destination's about four miles off the highway. It is warming up. We are hitting the gravel road right away. Looks like we got about three miles of gravel road and dirt road. A little bit of washboard here. It's gonna take it easy. Well I can see the Snake River off to the right there beginning to wonder if I was heading in the right direction and this is not a campground it's just dispersed camping I love this I love going down dirt roads exploring new places so much fun okay so this road is a little sandy it seems like there's a decent amount of hard pack below the surface sand but I'm gonna try to keep it moving so I don't get stuck Oh, why? A choice. Well, this feels like towards the river, so I'm going to do this. Although it does get more sandy, maybe I should have went that way. 
going to check it out. Well, I do have my little air compressor with me if I need to. I'll uh, let some air out of my tires. It seems like this is fairly hard packed below the surface sand. I might go do a little exploring on foot here real quick. Well, I walked up a little ways and there definitely is a couple spots, but this gets a little rocky. So it looked like that other road where it wide meets up up there. So I'm going to turn around and take that road. It looks like it's a little smoother. Could definitely make it, but I just don't want to risk banging out my bike rack. Trailer hitch is a little soft. Oh, that was interesting. Sideways, here we go. There's some shade. Of course, I'm gonna lose it as the day goes on. A little bit of trash here, but look at this. Some shade. I think this might be the spot, guys. Whoa, I can see a bunch of fish out there. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling this, other than a little bit of trash here. I'll give it a good cleanup. Probably walk around on foot too, scout out some more stuff. But check this out. We were right on the water and we got a little bit of shade. That's what I was looking for. Is this animal running at me? It looks like a freshly shorn sheep, right? Okay, I hear you. On your turf, bud? Sorry, okay. There he goes. So it's dinner time. We're gonna do up a pizza. It's been a while. I'm just getting this pizza crust prepped. Gonna heat up the top side first. Then we'll add the grill basket to remove the cast iron skillet from the heat a little bit. So for this pizza, we're gonna use a pesto sauce instead of a tomato sauce. We're gonna add some sliced onion, sliced tomato, and some sliced mushroom, along with this sauce and some mozzarella cheese. Let's see how it turns out. So we fried up some portobello mushroom and some sliced onion. Let's pull those out, get the pizza crust in, and get these on top. Go a little bit of mozzarella cheese. We're gonna add our sliced tomato. Use my little grill basket there, turn it upside down. That'll get it off the heat a little bit. I think we're looking good. Let's check the bottom of the crust. Go ahead and let that cool down in there. We'll pull it off and slice it up. That is looking pretty darn good. We got this outside now. I'm gonna let that cool for just another minute and then we'll dig in. We got some pesto sauce topped with some fried onion and mushroom. Then top with some mozzarella cheese, sliced tomato, and some more mozzarella cheese. Let's give it a shot. It's pretty darn good. The crust is nice and crispy. I'm loving it. Well, that was one heck of a day dealing with the heat. I'm so grateful I had this lake to swim in all day. We'll see you in the next video, everyone. Take care. Peace.